Let us pray, angelus. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Our fort, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, and cling to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and pour in needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, Enrich me poverty and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under veil of sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please all stand. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter the Apostle. Jesus entrusted the Church to the Apostles, particularly to the Apostle Peter, who was entrusted with the power of the keys. 
And today we celebrate his teaching office. And so we pray for the Pope as the Basilica is a papal church. We celebrate this with solemnity and fervent prayers for the successor of Peter, the Apostle. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, it's take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. It's take away the sins of the world, receive our Let us pray. 
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempests may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ, the one who has a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint but willingly, as God would have it, not for the shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unf unfading crown of glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the whole table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Please all stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. We praise you, we bless you, we worship and adore you, Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you O lord when jesus went into the region of caesarea philippi he asked his disciples who do people say that the son of man is they replied some say john the baptist others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. 
I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Pag tinitignan po natin yung mga statue ni St. Peter, lagi siyang may hawak na susi. Bakit may hawak na susi si San Pedro? Because of the Gospel today. In the Gospel today, it says that Jesus entrusted the keys of the kingdom of heaven to Peter. Why? Because Peter was appointed by Jesus as the leader of the church that he will establish. And in the gospel, Jesus said directly, You are Peter, the son, and upon this rock I will build my church. So the church is built on the faith of the Apostle Peter who confessed that Jesus is the Son of God. And what is the role of Peter? Peter is to lead the people as a sign of unity. So the Pope, the successor of Peter, is the visible sign of unity in the church. Tayo ay nagkakaisa dahil tayo ay may iisang pastor. At sino ang pastor natin? Si Jesus. And who represents Jesus in the entire church? The Apostle Peter. And that is why he is also called the Vicar of Christ. The Apostle Peter is the head of the universal church. And as the head of the universal church, we who follow our Lord Jesus Christ are to listen to the voice of Peter. And this is what we celebrate today, the chair of the Apostle Peter. When we say chair, seat, Ano ba ang upuan? For example, yung malaking upuan doon ng pari. No? What does that symbolize? It symbolizes one who presides. But also, in the Catholic Church, kapag ikaw ay pumunta sa katedral, bakit katedral ang tawag natin sa simbahan ng obispo? Tapos sa loob ng katedral, may malaking upuan din. Yung malaking upuan na yan, yan yung tinatawag natin na kathedra. And the kathedra is the symbol of the teaching office of the apostles, the bishops. And Peter is the bishop of Rome. And therefore, the bishop of Rome has an official seat or chair, and that is found at the Cathedral of St. John Lateran in Rome. And it is a symbol of the teaching authority of the Pope as a successor of the Apostle Peter. Kaya dapat tayo po nakikinig tayo sa boses ng ating Santo Papa. When the Pope teaches when the Pope tells us something in the name of the church, he does it in the name of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. And so today, we pray in a particular way for the Holy Father. We pray for the Pope who invites us to become a synodal church. We pray for the Pope, for his person, for his good health, and for his intentions. So these are the practical ways that we can celebrate today's feast. We can celebrate it by committing ourselves to listening to the voice of the shepherd. 
the voice of the Holy Father who teaches us as a shepherd leads the flock to a greener pasture, so the shepherd of the church wants all of us also to be saved. At yan po dapat ang ating isinasaulo palagi kapag tayo ay nagbabasa ng mga documents galing sa Roma, kapag tayo ay may mga directives, kapag tayo ay may mga importanteng encyclicals, pag-aralan po natin yan, basahin natin yan at i-apply po natin sa ating lokal na simbahan. Because the Pope, as we said, is the chief shepherd. He is the vicar of Christ. And as a shepherd, he leads us, his flock, to be closer to Jesus and live according to the teachings of the church that we call the magisterium. So, today we remember in a special way Pope Francis, the Bishop of Rome, who presides in charity over all bishops in the world. St. Peter was given by Jesus the authority to bind and to loose. Ano ibig sabihin ng to bind and to loose? Sabi dito sa gospel, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. To bind is to prohibit. Whatever you prohibit on earth shall be prohibited in heaven. And whatever you permit in this world shall be permitted in heaven. So, there goes the teaching on papal authority. And one particular aspect of the teaching office of the Holy Father is the doctrine on infallibility. The Pope cannot be wrong in questions regarding faith and morals when he pronounces it ex cathedra. Ano ibig sabihin ng ex cathedra? When he announces and proposes it as an official teaching of the church coming from his official teaching. Kaya sinatawag yung mga official teachings natin, lalo na yung mga pronouncements sa dogmas, ex cathedra, when they are supposed to be believed with an assent of faith because they come from the teaching office of the Pope. So the celebration today is a celebration of not a particular chair, but rather, in a formal sense, it is a celebration of the teaching office of the Pope. And so as we celebrate the teaching office of the Pope, again, I insist, we listen to his voice. Just as we listen to our teachers in school, so that we learn and become better persons, so we also have to listen to the voice of the chief shepherd of the church, who is the Holy Father, the Pope. And to this day, we have the successor of Peter, Pope Francis. And that is what you call the Catholic Church. Because where the Pope is, there is the true church founded by Jesus Christ. Please all stand. God, our Father, in your providence, you chose St. Peter as the leader of the apostles and as head of the church. We pray as a community of faith under the successor of St. Peter, trusting in you. Bless your church, O Lord. Bless your church, O Lord. That Pope, the successor of Peter, may exercise his authority in the spirit of service, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Bless, Bless your, your church, church, O Lord. Lord. That the Pope and the bishops and those in the in the diplom diplomatic service of the Holy Holy See may become effective agents of unity in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless your church, O Lord. That pastors and all the faithful may be steadfast in their faith and obedient to the ma magisterium of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless your church, O Lord. That the sick may find healing in the ministry of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless your church, O Lord. That the faithful departed may join the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless your church, O Lord. Father, help us to become faithful followers of your Son by our obedience to the See of Peter. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray, the prayers and offerings of your church, that with St. Peter as her shepherd, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Sana, sana, 
Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Listen. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our daily bread and 
for thee for such as us is. As we forgive those we trespass against us, then lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. In Him alone is 
is our Lord. In He the Lord is our strength. In He the Lord are we justified. In He the Lord are we saved. In search of following me, let his love be the hunger in your soul till it overflows with joy. He earned to know, in he alone is our Is our stand. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we saved. Please all stand. Let us pray. O God, who at our celebration of the feast day of the blessed Apostle Peter have nourished us by communion in the body and blood of Christ, grant, we pray, that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Please be reminded that tomorrow, Friday, we have the Stations of the Cross around the Basilica at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and it will be followed by our celebration of the Mass at 4.30. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for he has made you steadfast in St. Peter's saving confession, and through it has set you on the solid rock of the church's faith. Amen. And having instructed you by the tireless preaching of St. Paul, may God teach you constantly by his example to win brothers and sisters for Christ. Amen. So that by the keys of St. Peter, and the words of St. Paul, and by the support of their intercession, God may bring us happily to that homeland that Peter attained through the cross, and Paul by the blade of a sword. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Para sa sarili lamang Tayong lahat ay may pananagutan sa isa't isa Tayong lahat ay tinipon ng Diyos na kapiling niya Tayong lahat ay tinipon ng Diyos na kapilit na. Please kneel for the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, 
through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know we need in life. The dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.